Amendment to Marpol and X5 Related to Garbage Record Book. Resolution, MEPC.36079. Applicable to new ship and existing ship. Applicable to all ship of 100 GT and above or ships certified to carry 15 or more persons. Compliance date is the 1st of May, 2024. Garbage Record Book. The revised paragraph under Regulation 10 of Marple Annex V states that every ship of 100 gross tonnage and above and every ship which is certified to carry 15 or more persons engaged in voyages to ports or offshore terminals under the jurisdiction of another party to the convention and every fixed or floating platform shall be provided with a garbage record book. Accordingly, with effect from 1 May 2024. All vessels of 100 GT and above, as against. Existing requirements of 400 GT and above will be required to keep a garbage record book on board. Further, an entry will be required to be made in the garbage record book in the event of any accidental discharged loss of garbage. Owners and managers to ensure that crew is aware of above revised requirements and that the garbage record book is supplied and maintained on vessels of 100 GT and above. Amendments to Marple Annex 6 with respect to bunker delivery note. Applicable to all new and existing ship size of all sizes, compliance date is from the 1st of May, 2024. Amendments to Appendix 5 of Marple. Annex 6 were adopted to include Flashpoint as mandatory information in the BDN. A new item is added to the BDN. The Flashpoint, Degree C, specified in accordance with standards acceptable to the organization asterisk or a statement that Flashpoint has been measured at or above 70 degrees Celsius with a reference note that says ISO 2719 2016, determination of Flashpoint, Penske Martin's closed cup method, procedure A, for distillate fuels, or procedure B, for residual fuels. Relevant parties could alternatively provide a statement that the Flashpoint has been measured at or above 70 degrees Celsius. Owners and managers are to ensure when receiving bunkers, BDN is issued by the suppliers in new format and includes information regarding the flashpoint. Amendment to IMDG Code Applicable to ships carrying IMDG cargo, all sizes, and compliance date is from 1 January, 2024, administrations may apply it on a voluntary basis as from 1 January, 2023. The IMDG code is regularly reviewed to take into account new requirements for existing substances or new substances. In addition to the regular updates to classification, segregation, packing and markings of dangerous goods, Amendment 40 to 20 includes Segregation requirements for alcoholates Amendments to SG 53 and SG 48 regarding liquid organic substances Amendments to UN 1362 PG2 and UN 1362 to clarify the differences between carbon-related substances particularly with regard to charcoal. A new special provision and handling code for medical waste. Amendments have also been made to the footnotes in the IMDG code. Several footnotes in the IMDG code were found to use mandatory language. These have now been included in the main body of the code. The amendments are pertaining to operational requirements and are to be complied with when carrying dangerous goods. Amendment to FSS Code Resolution Applicable to ships carrying all ship and of all sizes and compliance date is from 1 January, 2024. IMO agreed to develop fault isolation requirements for individually identifiable fire detector systems, installed in lieu of section identifiable fire detector systems, on cargo ships and passenger ship cabin balconies. The following new paragraph 2.1.8 is inserted after existing paragraph 2.1.7, 2.1.8 in cargo ships and on passenger ship cabin balconies, where an individually identifiable system is fitted, notwithstanding the provisions in paragraph 2.1.6.1, isolator modules need not be provided at each fire detector. If the system is arranged in such a way that the number and location of individually identifiable fire detectors rendered ineffective due to a fault would not be larger than an equivalent section in a section identifiable system, arranged in accordance with paragraph 2.4.1. The amendments do not affect the existing ships unless it is a modification new installation case. Amendment to 2011 ESP Code Applicable to tankers and bulk carrier of 500 GT and above, Compliance date is from 1 July, 2024. Amendments to 2011 ESP Code 
1. The coating condition criteria of ballast tanks, excluding double bottom tanks, of bulk carriers were strengthened from poor to less than good, which are used for the tank examination at annual intervals. 2. For void spaces bound in cargo holds of double side skin bulk carriers exceeding 20 years of age and of 150m in length and upwards, requires that the spaces in question be examined at annual intervals where a hard protective coating is found to be in poor condition. 3. It is clarified that oil tankers carrying oil in independent tanks which did not form part of the ship's hull were outside the scope of the ESP code. Timing of cargo tank pressure testing carried out by the ship's crew under the direction of the master for oil tankers at renewal survey is clarified, the tank testing is to be carried out prior to the overall survey or close-up survey. The requirements will be included in rule. Amendment to IBC code. Applicable new and existing chemical tanker of all sizes. Compliance date is from the 1st of July, 2024. Amendments to IBC code were adopted to align the requirements with respect to doors in watertight bulkheads with that of the Solars Convention and allows for hinged watertight doors where previously. The regulations only included remotely operated sliding watertight doors in damage stability calculations. These amendments clarify and align the requirements of watertight doors with that of the Solars Convention and will not have impact on existing ships. Amendment to LSA code. Resolution point for 59, 101. Applicable to all ships and applies to rescue boats installed on board ships. Complaints date is on or after the 1st of January, 2024. Following two amendments were adopted. 1. Amendments to LSA code for dot for dot 8 dot 1. The requirement of buoyant oars and related equipment is not applicable for lifeboats equipped with two independent propulsion systems. 2. Amendments to LSA Code 6.1.1.3 Rescue boat which is not one of the ship's survival craft, having a mass not more than 700 kg in fully equipped condition with engine, but without the crew, the launching appliance of the boat does not need to be fitted with stored mechanical power provided that manual hoisting from the stowed position and turning out to the embarkation position is possible by one person. The force on the crank handle does not exceed 160N at the maximum crank radius of 350mm and means having sufficient strength such as bowsing line are provided for bringing the rescue boat against the ship's side and holding it alongside so that persons can be safely embarked. For existing ships, amendments will be applicable only for rescue boats installed on board on or after 1 January 2024. Amendments to Solar's Regulation 333rds, LSA Code, MSC 8170. Applicable to new ship and existing cargo ship of 20,000 GT and complaints date is from 1 January, 2024. Amendments to Solar's Regulation 333, paragraph for dot for dot 1.3 of LSA Code and the revised recommendation on. Testing of Life-Saving Appliances, Resolution MSC 8170, as amended, were adopted to remove the applicability of the requirements to launch freefall lifeboats with the ship making headway at speeds up to 5 knots in calm water as there is no additional dynamic load on the launching arrangements to be accounted for. The amendments will not have any impact on existing ships. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe this video among your friends and colleagues. Join our Telegram channel for latest maritime updates and exams preparations.